This is Eagle Owl, and today I will be talking about Jalen Carter being compared to great defensive tackles and also Sidney Brown being the next weapon next, but let's get straight into it. All right, so before we get straight into it, I got to talk about my guy, Jalen Hurts. Yes, Jalen Hurts made the cover of Sports Illustrator. He talked about a couple things. He talked about losing the Super Bowl. He talked about how he thought he broke his collarbone in the Chicago game, but nothing was taking him out that game. Turns out, I believe he just had a strained collarbone. I know it was rumors going out like, yo, over the offseason, his collarbone He might need surgery, but they didn't want to disclose any of that because they didn't want to give nothing away. So Jalen Hurts having that toughness, man, not going to lie, not to bash on Carson Wentz. But if that was Jalen Hurts playing the Seahawks and um, that happened with the Jadavion Clowney hit, Honestly, I think Jalen Hurts played through it. If nobody recognized he had a concussion, I think Jalen Hurts played through it, and we would have never known he had a concussion, in my opinion. It's no knock on Carson Wentz. I'm just saying, Jalen Hurts is a different breed. He's a rare breed. He's He wasn't leaving that game if that was him. Like a broken collarbone, then you slinging it like that in that cold weather? I'm telling you, Jalen Hurts is. He's different, man. And I believe if it was up to Jalen Hurts, he would have played that Saints and Cowboys game. But Nick Sirianni, the training staff, they just really cautious with their players. And plus, we had basically the number one seed locked up. We just thought Minshew could pull one for us. Then we had to force Jalen Hurts out there against the Giants just to have that break because that break really helped. But anyway, all in all, Jalen Hurts, again, shout out to him making Sports Illustrator, telling his story of everything that happened. But let's get into it, man. Let's get into the topics today. All right. So next GOAT defensive tackle, Jalen Carter. Uh, Jalen Carter is being compared to the greats. Actually, let's listen to what Darius Slay had to say about what Jalen Carter is doing in training camp. It's not just rumors and not just reporters saying this. Let's listen to what. Slay had to slay. Them Georgia dogs, them, them two boys out there, them boys grown men. And I know y'all heard a report about Jalen Carter, man, breaking the sled. I'm talking about Buddy is strong, man. You know, I'm not going to compare him to who I want to compare him to, but I've been around a lot of great D-tackles. I've been around Sue, Aloli Nada, Fletcher Cox himself, you know, Javon Hargrave. I, You know, I've been around a great group of guys that play the D-tackle, man, and I'm trying to tell you here. Jalen Carter, man, this kid is just... Very, very dominant, man. He, he's very physical, quicker than what you think, and stronger than how he look. You know what I'm saying? So he looks like a, a baby rhino. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen a baby rhino and then you just, man, he, he crazy. And I'm talking about he pushing folks back, man. You can ask Lane Johnson, man. Lane Johnson said it himself. One of the best tackles in the game said this guy is ready to play right now and ready to take control of the game right now. He's a game changer. I know y'all saw his first play. On a, against the Baltimore Ravens. He only had one play, I think. And the Duke, quick out the line, quarterback hurry, almost got a sack, third down stop. That's what I need. That's a DB dream. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to cover long. So if they doing their job good, my job will be good. So I know we kind of help each other off and off, but I want them to win way more than I have to win because I get tired fast. I got to chase a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So they get, they go about two or three yards and have 600 pounds on them. That's a really big, big problem, but... 600 pounds don't look no problem to him. I'm not lying. I done seen him get double teamed in practice, and he he getting them both off of him like he just strong. Cop Diesel strong. And it's crazy that this man fell to a Super Bowl team last year, you know, that went to the Super Bowl last year. Georgia. I never thought of that. I never thought of Slay uh, and defensive tackles. What I mean by that is I never thought, like, oh, yeah. Slay know the great defensive tackles. Not no knock on him. It's because he played with a lot of great defensive tackles. <clears throat> Damn, I'm losing my voice. With a lot of great defensive tackles, such as the Dominican Sue. Played with Javon Hargrave, Fletcher Cox. Um, 
And he like, yo, compared to these dudes, man, not saying, you know, he's better than them or he will be. But I see some great defensive tackles. But this kid is different. He's like a baby rhino. And man, for him to get all this praise now, it is crazy. And like he said, even Lane Johnson, Lane Johnson, best right tackle in the league saying like, yo, He's going to be an impact right now. The kid is different, man. The kid is different. So do I believe he can be the next, like, GOAT defensive tackle? Like, we could put Jalen Carter name up there with the Fletcher Cox, with the, the Dominican Sues, with the Javon Hargraves, with the Aaron Donalds. I say yes, but we got to see him play. I, I got to keep it fair all across the board. He is a rookie. We got to see him play up against other competition. We've seen what he did against the Ravens. I want to see how he progressed during the season. Is he a really good run stopper and pass rusher? Is he just a really good pass rusher? Um, is he just one of those dominant dudes like it, Aaron Donald? Because our defensive line is loaded, so he probably play like 40 to 50% of the snaps. And what I mean by that is he's going to always – be good like he's not going to be gas like we'll be able to rotate him a lot and i just want to see what he can do can he win that defensive rookie of the year especially with a loaded line like us and still get possibly multiple sacks i want to see what he can do i definitely want to see what he can do but his potential is through the roof and like slay said like man this man fell to a super bowl team Fell to a Super Bowl team. It's, it's going to be a lot of people that regret passing on them, in my opinion. Because, yeah, Seahawks got this guy. And Will Anderson is good with the Texans and Bryce Young and the Chicago and all them. But this dude's going to be different. I believe he's going to be a game changer. And a lot, and a lot of people, I'm like, damn, should have gave him a shot. And I think he's going to be good off the field. I think he's going to have a excellent demeanor um people um wish they had him because he, he's going to play up to par as well as people expect so again shout out to the organizations that passed on them all right so lastly i want to get into this the next weapon x the next weapon x and sydney brown sydney brown just play fast man he just simply play fast he hits hard i believe he's going to be a fan favorite like he's bringing back that that early 2000 hitting and he hit clean like he's not hitting all high in the head he's hitting people straight like clean imagine because we didn't see reed blanket shit playing a while people forget reed hit hard too reed hit hard as debo as aaron jones Shoot, as a lot of uh players, man, that he hit Reed Blankenship hit hard, and I think Sidney Brown hit harder than Reed Blankenship, man. We're gonna have some hard hitting again, and like what Sean Desai said, you want to be felt, man. You want to be felt, and I think Sidney Brown just being basically an eagle, he's a breed of the eagles because he's drafted by the eagles. And he's so humble, man. He's so humble. And I like that he always say, yo, I got more to prove. A lot of people are like, yeah, you think you should start? You should do this, you should do that. He's like, nah, I got more to prove. Things I got to work on. And he knows this. And I believe he will work on those things. And just get better and better and better. And when his number is called, he will be ready. Now, I know Kayvon Wallace, a lot of people saying he was going to be the next weapon. Next, but the problem with Kayvon is that he talked very, very big and he was putting out tweets. And, you know, we were like, OK, let's see what he got. And he underperformed. And it was, you know, a little bit heartbreaking. I believe Sidney Brown, a lot of people that don't watch like college football and this and that. I think he came in as an underdog and he's proven so. A lot of people are like, we should have got Branch, the one that fell to the Lions. Uh, Sidney Brown, can he actually hit? That's why when I was hearing, can Sidney Brown hit? I thought it was insane. So I'm like, it's no way you watch tape on Sidney Brown say he, he can't hit. You're looking at statistics. 
because sometimes he can over pursue and when he over pursue it can cause a missed tackle but now if he hits you he's going to hit you hard and um yeah man i'm happy he's proven a guy like me right i was on sydney brown coat i'm like yo he's the best safety coming out the draft he is now, Brands can he cover better than Sidney Brown? Sure, I give you that. I believe he can cover better than Sidney Brown. I believe Sidney Brown, as time go on, will be great in coverage as well and and hit like a, a heat-seeking missile, I would say. So, look, man, do I believe he could be the next weapon next? Maybe, maybe not. And... It's just greatness. It, it, like this defense, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm waking up early in the morning shooting this video. This defense, man, is loaded with young talent. It has the potential to be great. And guys like uh, Sidney Brown, guys like N'Kobe Dean, guys like Jalen Carter, even Jordan Davis, even uh, Milton Williams, Josh Sweat, uh, Nolan Smith, like the young talent is just insane. But this guy, man, I'm telling you, that guy, Sidney Brown, is going to be different. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about the news today? Give you an early one before we talk about joint practice later today. You know, I was trying to get you an early one. But this is Eagle Al, man. Come on.